feel like I'm getting that 90s underground hip hop, you know, sort of uh, straight from the sewer. My guy. All right, all right. To the all right, all right, all right. Yo, welcome <laughs> to the <laughs> most hood interview you've ever done. You're nervous. <laughs> I mean, that elevator is very big, you know what I'm saying? From the 1900s. Nothing but illustrious guests. You know what I'm saying? These are men in the building. We have the one and only literary god. You know what I'm saying? G-A-W-D. Ta-Nehisi Coates in the That's building. right. New York Times you know bestseller, uh, uh, National Book, Book Award Review. winner, uh, BFF of Oprah. You know what I'm saying? Is just, that true? Just Is that true? Are you, are you, you oh, I heard. That's not true. Clear this rumor. I heard at the barbershop. I heard you were <laughs> always with Like, you call it like, yo, 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 what's, what's poppin'? Yo, it is. No, no. Is that not the case? No, no, yo, no, no, no. where brunch at? Nah. Yo, 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 bring Stedman this time. <laughs> nah, nah, when Oprah calls, I answer. Uh, you, you, <laughs> you got to. That's to. the relationship. How many rings? Is it like Immediate. one? Immediately. Right? Immediate. Like you Immediate. just feel it and you're like, Oprah's calling. Yeah, 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 I can sense it. <laughs> the Oprah when you answer sense. the phone call to Oprah, how do you, like, you gotta, you can't act like starstruck, so you gotta act cool. That's like, a, it's like a, 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 you gotta strike a happy medium so somewhere. So how, how do you there. answer? Hello? Just a, hello. <laughs> See, if you saw me, you would know. Oh, uh, okay. The, but the voice is hello. And then she's like, hello. Yeah, she, hello! Gives, she gives the whole thing. Whole thing. Whole thing. When it. she picked it for the book club, she just, hi, this is Oprah Winfrey. But it was like a, you know what I mean? A majesty yeah. in her voice. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You that was like different. The, uh, Apollo Theater. I was. Yeah, I was. Get blacker than that, my brother. I mean, <laughs> it was. It was a thing. I don't think they filmed either. It okay. was. It was a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How I was did, that? It was. It was incredible. I mean, I have her at, at the Apollo. You know, I've been at the Apollo a few times. Got a connection up there. Yeah. You know, and um, even after we knew she was going to uh, do what she did with the book, we didn't know that she would do that event. Mm -hmm. But she basically said, yeah, you know, opening at the Apollo, I'm in. All so right. it was incredible. It's your new book, The Water Dancer, right? Yeah, The Water Dancer, yeah. Okay, how did Oprah get involved in that? I don't know. See, like, I turned into a book, and then a whole kind of mechanism, <laughs> machinery happens. You know what I mean? And then I, I heard, you know, through the grapevine, might be in consideration. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I got a text, like, yo, Make sure you oh, you answer your phone at ten o'clock. You gonna get a call. You, at 10 call some... you better be there. You Listen, better we be understand because we got an email and it was like, hey, Yo. do you guys want to be at Oprah's book club? And Yo. I was like, oh. it was like chose, Oprah has chosen you. Yeah, yeah. Wow. we were like, oh, I, I bet. Wow. Yeah, no doubt. Like, wow. Yes. So we wow. In there. I'm in the wow. store. I'm just buying forty copies. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. We going platinum in the hood. I'm giving them out when people get off the train. Like it's an AM <laughs> daily. I'm like, Yo, just read it. Like you're Jehovah Witness and shit. Like, Yo, hey, so you know, <laughs> better yourself, my brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But your name, go, uh, people think of your name, you think of very serious topics, like yeah. reparations and things. Yeah. This is not that serious. I mean, it is a serious book, yeah, but no, it's but non fiction. It's, it's right. uh, fictional? Or it's fiction. There you go. It's fiction. It's fiction. It's, it's a novel. It's, uh, it's the like first a novel. From the, it's a huge departure, but I've right. actually been working on it for 10 years. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So um, even though I was publishing all of that other stuff, that actually, I'm better than, like, like, you know, Between the World and Me, Case for Reparations, all of that. I was working on this before that. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I just kind of, you know, had it, had it cooking. And, you know, whenever I, you know, got done with one thing, I would go, you know, and work on that. And, um, man, I'm just happy it's out. I just, like, off my back. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like having a kid. You know what I mean? The kid's out the house now. You know what I mean? Was it just always, you like, just the story you had? The I dropped him off Peace out. Peace out. This is a talking gift card. Deuces. About to go turn his bedroom into a study. Like, yeah, out of here. But the book, okay, it takes place during slavery. It takes place during slavery. But there's like mythological fact. There's like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. was, how important, you said you had this idea for 10 years? I was working on it for 10 years. How yeah. did I, this even come about, this story? Um, I mean, my editor was like, you should try a novel, basically. <laughs> I mean, it really was that simple. That's that's simple. Like that. like, okay. I think you could do this, you know? Oh, nice. And um, I don't know, man. When I read novels, and when I read novels, I was like, I don't know how anybody does this. He was like, yeah, I think, I think you got it. Yeah. And I basically had to learn how to write a novel. So that's why it took 10 years, right. you know what I mean? Is, what's the difference between like writing this versus a serious academic paper, or, like something for the Atlantic? Oh, man. Um, you know what it is? This feels a lot more like being a kid. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's much more. I feel like, you know, my roots always tell people it's uh, comic books, Dungeons and Dragons, and hip hop. Like, that's, you know, where, where, I, where, I, where I come from. That's my creative like you know, your process. Circular Venn diagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, it, you know, it even gets to all the historical and all this. Like, if I had an aesthetic, that's what it would be. And so this felt like going back to that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was like, even though it was hard, it was like playing in a sandbox, you know what I mean? Right. It's all yours, you know what Absolutely. I mean? And you can make up stories and make up things and, 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 and go, you know, all sorts of ways. Whereas obviously when you write nonfiction, this is what it is, man. You know, you don't play around with people's right. lives. So it's a totally different thing, right. you know? Got you. So, Your father was an author, right? My father was a publisher. Publisher. Actually. Yeah, is a publisher. Okay, yeah. so you showed him the book and what's the reaction? You know what's funny, man? Like, 
He don't universally love everything I do. <laughs> you oh, know really? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. In fact, nobody, none of my people do. Like, nah, nah. That's you, good, though. Yeah, you know, nah, you, you know, know what? You know, this shit is fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, then you go out yo, there and you, you, you know, know that shit about reparations. Nah, yo! Nah, 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 nah. nah. Yo, you don't want that. You don't want right. that. Because then yeah. you go out and get embarrassed. Their job is to keep, you know, you from keep embarrassing. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But I think this is the one he liked the most, mm-hmm. which is weird because I thought the more serious stuff is sort of stuff I was raised on, you know, sort of thing I came up on. But this one he read and he just was like, yo, this, this is it. This is the one. Yeah. You think it was of, of the, just the simple fact that you, of that departure and be like, yo, my son, you know what? He, he's writing all, he write everything. I don't know. He can I write actually, a motherfucking cookbook if he wants to. <laughs> like. I'm, 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 I'm shocked. I actually, I, I did not expect that reaction. I can't, you know, you can't predict your parents. Yeah, man. you, right. yeah, you nah, can't. Never. But it's that high praise you wanted, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Got exactly. You. Now, your mom used to make you write essays as punishment? Yeah. Uh, if I, like, did something in class. Like, how long essays are we talking? Are we talking full essays? I mean, a little paragraph? it's like a paragraph, but if you, like, five or six, you six. That's six, six. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's, that's stressful. Lot. Uh, it's just stressful to write a paragraph, but, it, you know, I, you know, did something in school, and you couldn't just write, I'm sorry, I did X, Y, and Z. It was, why did you, did, why did you do it? Explain what were you why? thinking what about it at the time? Well, what kind of stuff were you doing that you were writing? Oh, I was terrible, what, dude. Are you just backing like that? Oh, yeah, no, I was, oh, uh, no, I was notorious, <laughs> man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, you know, it would have been better if I had been a thug, but I wasn't. Like, right. I was just notorious in the classroom, so I, not you. Even, can't, you, I can't even brag about it. You know uh, what I mean? I, like, I don't, it's not like I got street cred out of it or anything. Like, kind of school cred. So no, I got nothing. nothing? I, got, I was just a bad student. That's oh, very. Okay. That's very. Uh, yeah, so yeah, was it was, a, was it a matter of like, yo, y'all not challenging me, so I'm bored, or is it a matter of like, man, have, this structure I don't fuck with? I don't know, dude. Or, I just I have tremendous difficulty sitting in a chair and listening to somebody talk for like mm. an hour. Like, I just, yeah. I just never... You just don't retain anything they're saying? Or I mean, no, my mind just space out. Yeah. I just space out. I'm thinking about something else. You know what I mean? Totally, mm. totally. I just, I have... I, in fact, when people come see me, I feel bad. I'm like, man, so I... you think I, they're doing the same yeah, thing? Yeah, I was just like, yo, I could not come see this dude. Like, <laughs> like not not when I was a kid, at, like, at right. least. And I would be struggling right now. I just, I had a hard time, like, learning that way. And it's funny, because even when I, when I um, went to college, like... I would like cut class and go to the library. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I like to read. I, yeah. I love to read it, but I don't. I just I don't want you tell me telling me what to read. When to read it? How to yeah, read it? Yeah, ah, like, ah, I just telling me how to interpret crawl. this shit. No, yeah. no, no, no. Let me let me find it. You know, on my own. Yeah. You, know you went to saying? Howard, right? I did. Ain't yeah. you? Graduated? You know, yeah. No, no, absolutely not. Nope. Absolutely not. So I'm getting in the habit of saying that. You know, I see how people end up lying. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. All it takes, you gotta say it once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you're you're a liar. Bro, have a bride. Yeah, you're like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We ran out of money sophomore year, so, uh, <laughs> right, right, you know, right, shit right, happened. Right, right, right. No, I didn't. I dropped out. I dropped out. Yeah, yeah drop out game. Yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. Successful <laughs> drop out game we out here. <laughs> but it's what bad because my son's there now, right? Mm-hmm. And I can tell mentally he's kind of like me. Yeah. And you know it's like oh, I worked out fine for you. Mm-hmm. Oh so what yeah. You, saying? you don't have that. You can't be like yo, yo. I went through this. Yeah, you yeah, got, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. You ain't through this. You're good. Guy. You're good. What's the dad <laughs> advice that you give him on that tip? You know the one thing I do tell him is he's in a very very different situation than I was. Mm-hmm. And if somebody had said you don't gotta pay tuition. And you ain't gonna have no loans, I would have finished. Yeah. I definitely would have. I was coming out of Baltimore. I was like, because I would have been, I'm not going back to that. Right. I'm absolutely, you know, and I was scared as hell of going back. You know what I mean? In a way that he just ain't. You know yeah, what I mean? It's just, that. you don't, you don't got, got no, nah, it's a different, it's a different thing. You ever think, like, damn, I should just, like, cut him off so he has to, like. All the time. Yeah. All the time. But you know what? Like, that <laughs> like was. Like the Chappelle's kid where he just dropped his son over the I, I think like, about it all the time, you know? Like, but the thing is, it's actually wild because. My dad, who was just hard as hell, what well, he says to me, he says, listen, if it's one thing I wish I had done, I wish I had been more patient with you. Hmm. It's like, yo, how are you telling me, you know what I mean, be more patient with him, given right. how, but, you know, you got to hear it because it's, it's your dad, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I try to incorporate that and listen to that and gotcha. be easy. And in hindsight, it's 2020. Like, yeah. he's, he's, you, you're remembering the childhood. He's remembering, now he's That's seeing right. the grown man, the That's finished right. product. That's right. And he's like, oh, shit, I did a good job. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. And I also, could have done better in these areas. Yeah. You know what I mean? And also, like, my dad, and you don't understand this until you have kids. Like, you can't understand how scared your parents are for you. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you're not really seeing that. You're just seeing them come down on you. You know right. what I'm saying? You know, but now it's like, I, I, I get it. I'd have been freaking out. You know? Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. What's your son taking it up? And, uh, does he know yet? Or? 
I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna see. Yeah, We're gonna my, see. My he gonna come like dad, dad. <laughs> dropped out of school. SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> right now. Me and Lil Pump gotta join out right now. Uh, you don't know how close you are. <laughs> <laughs> Not totally off target. Uh, you know, he's a smart kid. No matter what happens, he's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. You. I'm proud of him. You know what I mean? No matter what. You know, I'm gonna be clear about that. No matter what path he walks, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of him. Daddy loves you. That's what you gotta do, <laughs> man. Yeah. That, yeah. All right, you're in Brooklyn now. How's that different than Baltimore? I'm not in Brooklyn. You're not in Brooklyn? No, I'm still in Manhattan. Still in Manhattan? Yeah. Okay. Manhattan. Were you in Brooklyn? Yeah. I, think, um... I was. I, yeah, yeah, this is an ugly story. People think I'm in Brooklyn because I bought a house in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And then it got exposed. And then uh, my wife well, was, had like, the... we, she was like, we can't live there. We can't. So, yeah. so, so I never moved to Brooklyn. Exposed like how? Like people were just writing you stuff? Or nah, like, people like, put the like news on. reports. They put that... yeah. Oh, wow. And then they, they took pictures in the house. Then they photoshopped me into the kitchen. What? And then they went to my kid's Instagram. What? You know what I mean? It Why? was crazy. You had like rock star problems. Bro, bro, I was like, I'm a writer. What are You're you doing? You're a writer. What are you doing? Come on. This ain't do George Clooney. Do people see you on the street and they're like, yo! Page 46, my guy, I love you! We tore that shit up, yo. Chapter 5 was that fire. That would be great. That would be, that would be great, but not, it's not actually it's not like, like that. that. No, it's not like But that, that would be off the hook. I would love that. I would oh, love it. Yeah, yeah. I'm but, surprised you didn't get that for the, uh, the Black Panther graphic novel, because that was like... Uh, that was like a, that was a, a cultural moment. juggernaut. I dog. think people come, people come up. You know, they give you that. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the coolest thing is where you you are in somewhere. Like I was in Chelsea Market, right? Mm -hmm. Chelsea Market, yeah, Chelsea Market, right? right, right. I'm in there, get my fresh fish and everything. And it was a brother there, you know, who was just part of the custodial staff, and he just came up. He said, "Listen, man, anytime I see you on M MSNBC, anytime I see anything you write, I'm reading mm. that." That's the phrase I mean, you want, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's the real thing. Or if you're on Amtrak, somebody checking your ticket, yo, I mm -hmm. saw you, you know, in Congress doing X, Y, and Z. That, I mean. That's the illest no, feeling, man. Somebody's on yeah. their job and they could potentially get yes. in trouble, but they, yes. they take the time to be yes. like, yo, I really fuck with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, but they don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. <laughs> All right, I love that. Nick Arthur, Dr. Genius Grant. Yeah, that's not the official title. Genius is not actually in it. People have been adding Genius. Mm -hmm. But it's money. Run with it, though. It fuck is money. Fuck it's money. Fuck it's money. money. It's money. It's money. It's money. What'd you do with the money? Because we um, asked them one before. They got. They was like, no, that's not your. That's none of your business. No, no, no. I'm, I'm oh, good with that. Way. You know, I mean, I um pay bills, set up a, a you know a decent uh, retirement account, mm -hmm. uh, which I had never had for my my wife uh, and myself. You know, uh, as I said, that that tuition free you know joint for uh, uh, my son for college. Got you. Um, I, I did really boring stuff. I don't own a car. I don't like. I don't have any huge. Thing, right, right. you know what I mean? I need some what's vices. What's the biggest purchase you've made? What's the, what's the biggest Vegas. wasteful purchase that if someone at MSNBC or the Atlantic saw you made it, they'd be like, wow, you wallin'. They just jump on you like, lip, lip, left, 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 I don't know, 15, 15. 15. Not... It's a lot for somebody like me. Maybe not y'all, but that's yeah. a lot for, for somebody who does what I do. And, um, Actually, it's not even so bad. It was, the problem is why I do it. Why do you do it? Because <clears throat> I came up in like the 80s and the 90s and my parents wouldn't let me have anything. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you get shot, robbed, you know what I mean? I got like five I'm starter jackets. Yeah. But the old joints. The, you know, old, the joints. old joints. The the joints. Other people in your school <laughs> had. You was yes, like, oh, yes, can yes, I? And yes. it was like, nah. Nah, as soon as somebody got robbed for the Georgetown joint, that was it. I that was you. it. And so now I'm like living out my childhood. That's probably the most wasteful thing. Just straight up, come on, there's no call for this. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> you think I do. Now we have friends in common. You're friends with Chris Hayes. Yeah. I am you know, friends with Chris Hayes. Yeah. Ever play basketball with him? Never. I got no game, and he would destroy me. I've heard that. He would I've destroy heard Chris me. is nasty in yeah, basketball. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I, I don't, I don't want it. Yeah, also that would be weird. Like yeah. if he cross you up, you come on the nah, show. Nah, like, nah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Tonight on Inners, I bust your ass. I busted the tonight. Tonight he goes ass. Left him on zip. <laughs> And then they they had a they had a You're like, they really? I thought we were talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, come on, bro. I gave this motherfucker ten points. <laughs> after study, after your, uh, after the reparations, mm -hmm. do you think that's even possible in the United States? I don't know, man. You don't think so? I don't know. I mean, we just had congressional hearings. I didn't think that would happen. I didn't think that was possible. So right. I just tell me, I have, I have, my job is to write. You know, you want me to talk about it, I'll talk about it, and then y'all do what you do. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but. I don't know. What was the feedback for that? Because I saw a lot online. So a lot of positive, a lot of negative. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I actually didn't interact much with it. Got gotcha. you. Because I learned a while ago that, and it's a discipline. It's, oh, it's more like a practice. Sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm bad. 
but I should keep as much distance from reaction yeah, yeah. as I can. Yeah. You know? Because it gets, it, you know, you'll have like a million people saying, you know, this is great, but that yeah. one person, you're like, oh. yeah. And it corrupts the, 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 the process. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Let's take it a couple of months into the future. All right. All right. Funny. What do all you right. see happening? What's the political <laughs> landscape? Because right now, I'm like, people ask us all the time, like, or, or, or oh, you're with this guy. You will interview this person. And it's yeah. like, it's not. And they, I feel like they're trying to make it an indictment on us being yeah. like, oh, you're supporting this person. Yeah, but it's right. like, nah, we're just presenting this person yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. the public. Now nah, we are supporting Lil Nas X for president. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. Yo, Old Town Road at the yeah. inauguration, let's get it. Paninis you know for everybody. Saying? Paninis. You know what I'm saying? Don't be meanies. No, do you think Trump is going to get impeached? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets impeached. I'd be shocked if he got convicted. Right. I think he should be impeached anyway. Whether I think you should do your, you know, you got to do your job, you know, and other people can, you know, not do theirs if they choose not to. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, obviously, you know, I, I, I hope he don't get reelected. Right. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. You think he's ever read any of your stuff? Absolutely not. <laughs> Hell no. He's, he's, like, he's, he's like, I damn watch somebody working. Like, uh, if I was on Twitter, you if I was perhaps. still on Twitter, and if I went on Fox, mm-hmm. like if I if I took up on like when I get invitations for Fox, but I actually accept it yeah, yeah. and went on Fox. Yeah. Terrible yeah. like, Terry Blatana has he has his high take about me. Terrible Blatana has. Yeah, he comes with yeah. a terrible some, name. Like, some terrible alliteration <laughs> nickname for you. Knowing like, him, he uh, probably man. would get you confused right. with Takashi. Yeah. He probably would. He probably yeah. would. Yeah. Yeah. He watched my reparations. Now he's snitching on somebody. No, no, he's an informant. This is this is your this is you fake news. Is this your king? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what's next? Are you, are you gonna more nonfiction, more fiction, more papers? Just, Bro, I gotta get are you, are you gonna ghost write for a rapper? Nah, nah, you, nah. Listen, actually, it's right. Nah. You, got, you got the pen. Nah, nah. nah what nah, if nah, Hove was like, yo? I need some poetry for no, it. Y'all got it back. I'm doing a new album, y'all five, five, five. Y'all got it totally, totally backwards. In fact. What I um, and this is like people don't don't really sound, you know I'm really in a conversation like this even people even know, but it's actually the rappers that influence how I write. Oh really? It's the other way around. Um, and I, you know I think you know, folks like us think this, but I think these are like some of the you know the greatest writers that we got. Yep. Period. Bar none. Gotcha. Bar none. I, you know I always tell the story. I had um I had to go to a family reunion one time, and I had to dip back up like early in the morning, and I played um, Illadelph Half Life all the way back. Ooh. South of the roof. <laughs> And I was working on my first book, and I said, yo, if I get anywhere near this dude, like the way this dude is like nice with his, you know, on him, mm-hmm. I would be okay. Mm-hmm. I, would be, I would be okay. But people don't, I don't know, they don't really see, I mean, we do, but they don't really see rappers as writers. It's right. the weirdest thing. Like they don't It's like they, they literally process. write. They yeah, sit exactly. down and it's a process. They they yes, write. Yes. Oh, well, yeah. not, not like Blueface. I will. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's, 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 there's levels. <laughs> there's levels. There's levels. There's levels. There's levels. Actually, he might be the most. What if he's like the most brilliant rapper ever? We just can't. we just don't know. Don't know it's just abstract, <laughs> like you know, John Coltrane's type. You know what I mean? Like just yeah, he, yeah, avant garde. Yeah. Is he the E.E. E. Cummings of rap? It's possible. Yo, you know awesome. what I'm saying? Make my head explode graphically. <laughs> um, but yeah, not nah, like it's true, man. Like I pointed to Nas as an example of this. Like he'll listen. He'll have a song and you'll be like, yo, you're there. Mm-hmm. Like I was in the Lex watching Kathleen Lee Regis with Nas That's when right. he was rapping That's about right. it. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. So it's just like, right. if you could paint a picture like that That's right. and then have the talent to not only paint the picture, yeah. but flow yeah. over a beat and deliver yeah. and the breath control and all the yeah. technical yeah, aspects exactly. of it. It's like, bro, how could you not respect that? So I was like, um, for my freshman year of college, uh, Illmatic came out and New York State of Mind. And when he's running through the grass, grabs like, the gun, yeah, goes in, yeah. sees the kids. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? And it's kind of like, you know, it's like little kids. And he's kind of like, you know, fucked up by that. Yeah. I was like, yo. That is a verse. That is a verse. That's what I want to do. Like, that's that's where, you know, like, I want to write like that. Uh, you you know want to get I mean? that feeling. Yeah, yeah, where you can, you know, get it in your gut. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know? So. I, I, you know, me ghostwriting for these, nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right? Absolutely not. Got you. Yeah. Well, what words of encouragement do you have for like young kids of color that want to write? Like, yeah, I, I think the main thing is to keep reading and keep writing. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, that's just don't stop. I mean, I, I think uh, one of the hard things for all people who are creating anything is like in your early incarnations, like how bad it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, just low key. Somewhere in the world, there are uh, tapes of me when I'm like, uh, I guess, about 13 years old, trying to sound like Rakim. You mm. know what I mean? Trying, mm. trying, trying to do that. Burn those tapes. Um, <laughs> I wasn't gonna get there. 
You know what I mean? But I, I, I took the lesson about the writing, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, carried it into, you know, in, in, into other things. I think it's just like really important not to stop. You know what I mean? Because it can be really frustrating to be trying to do something and you're like, yo, why is this dude so yeah. good at this? Yeah, and I'm not, I can't even, effortless. like yeah. just effortless. And I'm putting in all the effort in the world and I'm not even close to this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's just the growth process. You know what I'm saying? That's just your journey. But, Ooh, but then again, Rakim probably read We Were Eight Years in Power was like, God damn, I can never nah, do he's wrong. like this. He's wrong, bro. <laughs> he's dead wrong. Just, he's dead wrong. He would be dead wrong. He's completely wrong. As a dude that's influenced by hip hop, we gotta ask you this. This is, this is the barbershop question uh, of all no, time. You, you already ask, know. Don't ask. This is Give a me, trap. This is a trap. It's a trap, but it's, it's a trap. <laughs> walk right into it. T, walk right into wow. it. Give me your top five. Wow, wow. this is such five. a trap. Got to be see Big O on the shirt. Rest in peace, Big yeah. O. Wow. Big O, oh, rest in peace. That's my DJ yeah. Premier voice. That's right. <laughs> um, see, the problem is, it's like whenever you catch me, it might change. But yeah, yeah. Okay. I say it all the time. My top five changes monthly. Change all the time. Um, so this is not in any particular order. Not right. in particular no, it doesn't order. have to be. Okay. No, all right. So okay. uh, safe space. Don't get mad at him. <laughs> okay. I'm saying. No, it's, it's, but the question is made for people to be mad at you. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. why it's a try. It's a mad for people. That's, that's why it's a barbershop question because you right. want to get up and argue, motherfucker. That's right. You get right. the Joe Budden in your top five. <laughs> Who the fuck? You crazy? What's wrong with you? Uh, so I would say um, I gotta. So I don't uh, you know forget. I gotta say Kendrick. Kendrick. Mm-hmm. Um, I gotta say Nas. Nice. I gotta say Rakim. I gotta say, see, I'm gonna fuck this up. I gotta say G Rap. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just, yeah. I just, I just, I just gotta that's say, a, I gotta say G Rap. And I like, I mean, you just can't front on Hove. Yeah. You can't, you can't, oh, you can't front on The longevity, yeah, the, you the, can't. the content, yeah. So we're just right now, Ari Melber was like, <laughs> yeah, got him. Hip hop, hip hop. Yo, I was just in the windmill he over there. Yo. yo, we can talk to you all afternoon, man. Yeah, yeah, yo, it was so much fun. You know how it is in New York. We got bodegas. Bodegas got the wild neon sign. What would your neon sign say? So, since we were talking about Nas, uh, I got to go with uh, the famous line from New York State of Mind See with the pen, I'm extreme. Ah, ah. ah. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, thank you for the Yo, read the Water Dancer, all his books. All of them. Graphic novels. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Expand your mind.